<laughs> Hi guys, how are you? Welcome. Oh my goodness, welcome. How you doing? My name is Artist Nicole and look what we're doing tonight, you guys. Woo! It is the Twitterpated Hummingbirds. Oh, I love it. I just love it. I know. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, my name is Artist Nicole. For those of you guys who don't know me, I own Artful Nights, Maine. My rules are absolutely simple. I have missed you guys tremendously this summer. Uh, but it's been an amazing summer. I have been teaching about six days a week, and uh, people have been wonderful, so I'm so grateful. Um... And last night I was able to move, so I apologize, but last night I was able to move my son into his first apartment. He's starting his junior year at the University of Maine. So I was up till 1230, of course, you know, last minute uh, thingy. But anyways, yeah, I'm so proud of him. I got the call today. Life is good. So I'm happy. <laughs> don't know me I am cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs my rules are simple you guys at home you eat you drink you have the most fabulous time of your life and that's it okay that's it and other than that I have no rules so tonight I'm gonna teach you guys how to paint the happy Twitter painted hummingbird that you've been waiting for but if you guys get that creative stink bug coming out of you and you decide you want to do something different, you go for it because art is what makes your heart happy. There is no right and there is no wrong, you guys. Oh, hello from Delhi, June. How you doing? Chuska Acavito, hello from Florida. Yay, yay, yay. Who else do I have on here? June Barrier, how you doing? Leanne Huey, how are you doing? I so love you too, darling. <laughs> All right, you guys, are you ready to get going? Because I know I am. Yeah. All right. So, first thing that we are going to be doing tonight. Hello, Lucy Lockwood McKinney. How you doing? Um, Everybody is going to be taking their big old brush, okay? And I took the liberty of pouring your paints tonight. Now, this is beautiful. I was going to give you guys. Oh, it's great to see you, Miss Cheryl. Oh, and Dumont, how you doing, Pumpkin Pie? I missed you. Um, so, tonight we have white, black. We have South Carolina. Hello, Lucy Gould. How are you, honey? We got a little bit of yellow. And rather than having you guys figure out how to create the teal. What I did was I showed you how I make my own homemade teal, okay? And basically what I do is I take it equal parts, Kelly green, so just your regular commercial green, and your favorite dark blue. Hello, Heather Michael. How you doing from Boise, Idaho? How are those potatoes? <laughs> make me some tail chips okay and what I do with these is I mix them together okay and what's gonna happen when you mix these two together you're gonna come out with this fabulous homemade teal but if you guys would prefer to use a commercial teal you go for it it's just not one of the more common colors so I always make my own you know what I'm saying and this is how I come up with this beautiful magic. Look at that. Ooh, baby. Check her out. Yeah. And if you guys want to have a little bit more green hue, use more green. If you guys want to have a little bit more of a blue hue, you add more blue. It's that simple. Okay. This is how we create our favorite teal color right here. No magic, everybody. All good. All right. 
Now, the first thing that I'm going to do with you guys, okay? Everybody's going to take their big old brush. And in honor of my son starting his junior year in college, I'm going to call this bad boy Pierce. Pierce, after my beautiful son. All right, so here we go, Pierce, keeping your mama up till 1230. <laughs> We're going to take Pierce, and you guys are simply going to do this. We are going to stroke it to the left, and we are going to stroke it to the right, everybody. You know it. You know how this part's done, don't you? Okay, and I'm going to have you stop when you are right about here. See that? Right about here. Because what we're creating is we're creating this beautiful twin painted hummingbirds at dawn. Right? So as we go up, that sun is rising, and here comes those beautiful hummingbirds, everybody. Okay? Now, a painting is never finished until we do what? You know what. We're going to paint our top our sides and our bottom there you go but we never paint a hello lynn howard how are you jen bird you're always here for the birds aren't you tweet tweet how you doing girl um so you guys i have to tell you this miracle about my birds okay because you know me right during covid i decided that i like birds and so i started with my bird feeders and Guess what? I actually got a real hummingbird. I am so excited about that. It took me a while because the birds and I, you know, we would were, we were communicate with one another. But I put out a, a hummingbird feeder and I actually, hello Pia for Winterbella. How you doing, baby? I actually got a real hummingbird. He came for like about a week and then he left and I haven't had him come back since. But you know what? That is progress right there. I'm a happy woman. You know what I'm saying? Little twitty, little twitty hummingbird. <laughs> all right, you guys. So it, you're all finished when it looks like you're, you do, Pia? I know, right? I have got chickadees. Tonight I had a cardinal. Usually I got these brown birds, which, you know what? I'm cool with that as long as I got birds, you know? And I have decided that I'm okay with the squirrels. The squirrels and I have become one because there is no way to defeat the squirrels. I have learned this. <laughs> oh, Lucy, I don't know why it keeps cutting out, honey. I think that's probably Facebook. But if that's happening to you guys, what you can do, sometimes when there's a lot of folks on Facebook, the video will cut out, but if you need to, all you gotta do is wait till the end, okay? And then you guys can rewind and have everything you need, all right? So don't you worry, immediately when we're done, I'm gonna post this on Facebook. All right, so once you guys get it to this point, okay? What you're gonna do, we're not even cleaning off piers. No siree. What I'm gonna have you guys do is you are gonna double dip him. All right, so one side of it is going to be teal, the regular beautiful teal that we created. And the other side is going to be white, okay? So we have teal and white. Teal and white, all right? <laughs> Just like me, Nikki White Fight Fight, okay? And what I'm going to have you do, you're going to start right about the halfway point, okay? And we're just going to start right there because what I like to do is I like to, oh, I don't like this brush very much. I'm going to grab a different pierce. I like to bring the, um, the blending together from the bottom to the top. That way I can go over that transition line. All right. How you doing, Miss Wendy? Sorry about that video, you guys. If that's happening to you, uh, no worries, because when they do the replay, that will not be cutting out. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to start down here. Look at that. Beautiful. And then I'm going to work that teal and white right up into that top. Okay, see that? Keep on stroking, everybody. Stroke her up. 
all right? And when I get to that transition line, okay, from one color to the next, I'm just going to work it right in. Look at this. Beautiful. Look at that, you guys. See that? Woo, that's getting pretty. That's getting wicked pretty, isn't it? I know it is. Okay? And when you guys are first learning, this is so important, okay? Sometimes you're a little nervous. That's all right. Nothing wrong with that. But what you need to do is remember that even though you're nervous, okay, you are going to kiss this canvas gently with your brush. See that? We're kissing it gently. Oh, from Doha Quarter. I don't know where that is, girl, but you sound like you are far away, Miss Pia. All right, I'm going to have to look you up. <laughs> Find out where you're from. Hi, Lynn Howard. How are you? Wendy Donaldson. How are you doing from British Columbia, Canada? I hope you're doing good, sunshine. I miss my Canadians this summer. Okay, so you're all finished when it looks like your version of this. All right? And basically what we did is we slap happy with that beautiful uh, teal color on top. If you want to add a little more, give it the you know what, so we can have a nice dark dawn sky, you go for it. Look at that. Woo, there's no right or wrong. You make it beautiful. And when you love it, you know you're done. Okay? See that? Ooh, I love mine. <laughs> then what I'm going to have you guys do is everybody is going to wash off their peers. Right? If my son is watching this tonight, he's going to kick my butt. That's all right. I don't mind. He's going to be like, Mama, why you be using my name in your video? <laughs> Hello, Carmen Ortega. How are you doing, darling? Nice to meet you, sweet thing. All right. So everybody is going to wash off their pierce just like this. Dry it off on your paper towel because the last thing you want is the dripsies. Nobody likes the dripsies, huh? No, sir, we. Not me, especially in the summertime. No, 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 no. Okay? Now, what we're going to do next is I'm going to have you guys double dip that pierce again. But this I have missed you too, Miss Wendy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um... So, we're going to double dip. We are going to, going to paint this. Good. Oh, I'm so happy, honey. I'm happy, Carmen. So, we're going to double dip. This time, we're going to take bright yellow and a little bit of white on the back. Okay? See this? Bright yellow and a little bit of white. All right? And we're going to start way down at the bottom this time. Okay? So, here we go. And we're going to come up about a fourth of the way. So we're coming up in quarters. Look at this. And I ooh, got a little blue on that brush. Ooh, don't like that. Okay, so here we go. Check her out. Yeehaw! I tell you what, yippee skippy. This is how she works, huh? All right, and then you guys are going to wrap it around the side just like this. Okay. See that? Ooh. Now, for me, that yellow is a little bright. I do like a sunshiny yellow, but in this painting, I want to mute it just a little bit more to make that transition from dawn, right? Nice and, uh, I don't know what the word is. But anyways, all right? So I'm going to take a little more white, and I'm going to bring it in that bottom. Just work it in there so that yellow is a little bit lighter. Because later we're going to be putting a sunshine in there. Okay? Look at that. Woo! All right. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> She's kind of pretty. Okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to come in from that light yellow bring in a full-on bright yellow so we're gonna wipe off my pierce my beautiful sun and you guys are going to 
take a big old scoop of straight up yellow. Okay? Here we go. We're gonna start right down here. All right, and you guys are gonna continue to work this beautiful yellow right on up. All right, watch this. Ooh-wee, she's getting beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Can you see that? Ooh, looking good, isn't it? Okay, and when I get to this point, I'm just gonna continue to go and I'm gonna work that yellow right up into that beautiful teal and white. All right, see that? There we go. Now, the last thing I want to see, this is what I call a, uh, well, I call it a Kaga line. All right. Oh, I'm so glad I missed your name. Who is this talking to me? Carmen and Heather Brooking. Hi, honey. Karen Custer Forbes. How you doing, girl? Oh, God love you. Okay. Now, can you see those two lines right here where one stops and the other one starts? We don't like that. No, we don't. So what I'm going to have you guys do, okay, wipe off that big old pierce. Grab some of that teal and grab some white. We don't want to see that big old transition line. So teal and white, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to start here and we're going to just work it down. Work it down into that yellow so that we don't have that crazy big transition line from dark to light. See that? Ooh, that's looking good. I know it does. <laughs> okay, isn't that beautiful? I know, we're getting ready for those little hummingbirds. Yeehaw, okay? And don't feel like you can't bring some of that teal right down into the yellow because that's what we're looking for. We're looking for this beautiful transition from light to dark. And when you guys look at the sky, it's never in one part or two parts, right? They always work together. And that's the beautiful part about light, okay? That's why we love light, because it's got this beautiful little funky donkey. It follows its own rules. Doesn't listen to what anybody else says, okay? There we go. We can do the same thing with this transition line. Look at that. Awesome. All right. And once you guys have gotten to this point, what I'm going to have you do is you guys are gonna bring out the big guns. You're gonna bring out that trusty, dusty hair dryer. Okay, here we go. We're gonna take our hair dryer. Whoop, my hair dryer's a little far out over here. Woo! Okay, whoop, let's get her on full speed. And we are gonna dry off this background. Look at that. guys do 
okay? Everybody grab. So what I use, all right, if you guys are working with me for the first time, I make it simple for you. I use three brushes every time. I think most of us do. All right, we got a big old one inch brush. Nice and soft. I like the square. Some people like the pointy. It's all up to you guys, all right? You pick what makes your heart. Everybody has a different touch, all right? Some of you have a really hard touch. Some of you have a light touch. You keep playing around with the brushes, and you'll find the one that works for you. But always start out with a big old brush, a medium brush, and then a small detail brush. And that is all it's going to take, my party people, all right? And for me, my medium brush always has to be soft. All right, I like it when it's nice and soft because that little bugger is gonna suck up the paint and bring it in, all right? And it doesn't matter if it's square, it doesn't matter if it's pointy, okay? It's all about what works for you, okay? So, what I'm gonna have you guys do next is everybody is gonna grab either their detail brush or their medium brush, okay? And that's depending on your skill level because we're gonna bring in that sun, which is a circle, okay? <laughs> and so my son Lucas says, hi, hello Lucas, how you do, darling? Video keeps cutting out. Oh, I'm so sorry, honey. But you know what? It definitely won't cut out in the replay. Oh, what's this all? Let's see, Wendy Donaldson, I've missed you. Oh, I missed you too, Miss Wendy. <laughs> I'm a nurse. Oh, honey, who is this? Karen Custom Force. Hi, baby. I'm giving you a big old hug, okay, sweet pea? Cassie May, how are you doing? Girl, you need to come back to mixers. Hi, Mr. Lucas. All right. So, once you guys have this beautiful sky in there, all right, and you are ready. We're going to take your, either your medium brush, which I am going to call sugar. Why am I calling it sugar? Because I feed my, my hummingbirds the sugar water. <laughs> and we're going to come in with this sugar, okay? And I'm going to have you guys carve out this beautiful sun. Now, when you are making a sun or any circle, okay, Always start out nice and small because you can always make it bigger, but you can never make it smaller, okay? Well, you can, but it's kind of a pain. So always start out with a small circle because trust me, it's going to grow, okay? Here we go, and I'm going to carve out that beautiful sun just like this. doop a doop a do okay? See that? Woo! All right, and whenever you're painting in the sun or any other sphere, like a moon or a snowball or whatever, you always want to paint it in a circular motion, just like this. All right, just like you're running around the racetrack. Here we go. Oh, you better watch out. I'm in first. Oh, no, here I come. Okay, and there we go. There is that beautiful sun coming over the horizon, you guys. Oh, she's pretty, isn't she? I know she is. Okay? And when you are all finished with the sun, what I'm going to have you guys do is we're going to take that same old medium brush, my little sugar water. Sugar, sugar. Honey, honey. Okay, oh, I'm just bringing in another little coat on my son. Um, and what I'm going to have you guys do is you guys are going to wash it off in the bath water. You're going to give it a nice, good bath because that sugar is dirty. Okay, so I'm washing it off. And then what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you turn that sugar into a woodpecker. What? Yep, a woodpecker. What does a woodpecker do? Okay, that's exactly the motion that we're going to use on this brush. All right, pecka, 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 pecka. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Letitia Barrett. How are you doing, honey? Oh, don't you worry. So for us in Maine, our summer is wrapping up. 
remember how I told you guys we have this short season? Well, our summer's wrapping up. Our kids have gone back to school. And the last week, the, we wake up and it starts to get cold in the morning. That's when you know fall's coming. That's when we're going to be painting more. Okay? So, what I'm going to have you guys do next, okay? Everybody is going to take their little sugar. And you guys are going to dip it in the black. Okay? Your black paint. And you're going to tap, tap, tap on your plate three times. What? Three times? Okay, ready? Tap, tap, tap. See that? Tap in the plate. You got this all nice and roughy and stuffy. And what you guys are going to do is you guys are going to come in and watch this. Here comes that woodpecker. Here he comes. Oh, I think he's peleated. Oh, he's the big one. Okay? And you are going to pack right across the bottom of your canvas. All right? Now, Nicole, why are we using this method? Well, because I don't want you guys to have this thick, dark black grass. This painting is way too beautiful. Okay? So what I want you guys to do is just make it nice and soft and smooth. Look at that. Woo-wee. See that? Yeah, baby. Okay? Fill in the bottom. Go leave a bunch of that yellow behind there. Okay? Can you see that? Make it look nice and soft. Make it look perfectly imperfect. Because that is what makes my heart happy and that is what makes this world go round. Being perfectly imperfect. Okay? Here we go. And see right here, what I did was I forgot to tap my brush. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap it on my plate, just like this. All right, get most of that paint off the brush, and look what happens. Boom! All right, and can you see how this is all roughed up, okay? It's not perfect. It's not a perfect line. That is how we like it, everybody. All right? Just like that. And we'll bring in the detail stuff later. Okay? There we go. And here's my last little bitsies right on the end. And like I said, make sure you get to the bottom. So if you guys are working on an easel, make sure you go all the way down. Why, thank you, Miss Carrie. Thank you. It is a very cute picture. I'm telling you what. Good things are happening with these hummingbirds. Okay, can you guys see that? Beautiful, you guys. And when you get to that point, okay, you've got all that grass pecked in, you got a few spaces in there, it's fuzzy, it's all uneven, you're done, okay? Well, you're done with that part anyways. All right. Then what I'm going to have you guys do is everybody's going to grab their itty-bitty detail brush, all right? And I'm going to call this one, what am I going to call this one tonight? Hmm. <sighs> I think I'm going to call it Godzilla. Why? Because I just looked at my calendar and there was Godzilla. So here we go. <laughs> Gogeta! All right? So everybody's going to grab their little detail brush and you guys are going to call this Gogeta. Now, will I be able to see? Well, sometimes I have a hard time seeing all these comments. Will I be able to see this video later? Yes, Miss, um, who said that? Vis, Vismita. Yes, absolutely, you guys. So, how it works, okay? When I am all finished with this video, what I do is I immediately download it onto Facebook. So you guys can find this video on Artful Nights Maine, which is why I have all you guys like Artful Nights Maine. So if I go too fast, you can come back and find your video. And then what I do three or four days, and what I do is I put it on my YouTube channel. So, ah, uh, so, um, oh, Miss Peg just messaged me. I don't know what she said. Ah, uh, sorry, squirrel. Um, so then it's going to be on my YouTube channel, and you guys can um, get it there forever. 
Artful Nights Made. Look it up on YouTube and there's like about 45 tutorials on that. Okay? Now, what I'm going to have you guys do with Gojita is everybody is going to carve out some blades of grass. And when we're carving out grass, okay, what I always tell people is you're going to use a very light touch. And when you do it, think about a man that's going bald. You know how he has those little spriggies on his head? Well, that's what we're going for. You ready for this? Here we go. So I'm going to take my brush and watch this. Start at the bottom and boop Right? And I always say that word because if you're saying the word poopa, you are not thinking about doing grass. You're not getting nervous about it. Ready? Poopa! And you pull back. Poopa! All right? So we're going to come in and you guys are going to poopa some grass all the way across. Look at that. And don't forget to crisscross applesauce because that's what happens in the real world on the open plain. Huh? You guys, that brush goes back and forth just like this. Look at that. Woo! Yeehaw. See that? And we're not adding a tremendous amount of grass. You guys are just giving up some of these short pieces right in here. Okay, just like this. And these short pieces kind of remind me of eyelashes, all right? So if you're struggling, think about your eyelashes when you're putting that mascara on, right? In the morning, you're getting ready for work, you poke yourself in the eyeball. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Okay, and we're just going to add these little buggers right across here. Okay, look at that. Boom. All right. There we go. So there's that layer. And you're all finished when you have just a light, simple layer of that grass. Okay? Just a little bit. We don't want it to be too thick. All right? There we go. Okay. Now, when you guys have that layer of grass in, guess what? You have successfully made it to halftime, everybody. Wah! Okay? At home, you can make your bladder gladder if you need to. Grab a drink. Grab another Scooby snack. Stand up. Stretch your bones because you're queen or king of the world. And I will see you guys in four minutes. Okay, four minutes.
barely wait the full four minutes. I can't help myself. All right. So this is where you guys get my halftime speech, okay? So, um, yes. Uh, so I, like I said, like my page on Facebook, okay? And the one thing, I started doing these shows during COVID, these free shows, because I was like, oh, how can I make the world happy, right? And I got to meet all these beautiful people across the world. You guys, you sent me cards and letters and, oh, my goodness gracious, you've made me so happy. Um, so, um, I just kept doing them because I love you. Um, so... One thing that I love is even because I can't see you and I still do all these shows in the like now that are really picked up in the real world. So I do all these shows in the real world too. Um, but um, the one thing that I miss with you guys is that I can't see your pictures. I can't meet you in person. I have met some of you, which is awesome. Okay, so if you could please send me pictures of your artwork. It makes me so happy. You can be in the picture or not be in the picture. That's up to you. Um, but I love it when you are. <laughs> that helps me put a face to the name. Uh, you can send them to me on my Artful Nights main Facebook page. And what I also did, I was getting about, you know, a couple hundred every class. So... What I did was I created a Facebook um, group, art group. So it's uh, Artist Nicole, um, Artful Night Main Online Paint Group. So if you go on my Facebook page, Artful Nights Main, you can look right at the top and there's a thing that says groups. You join that group and you can send your pictures through there. And I got to see everybody's artwork that way. And you guys get to connect with one another all across the country and in other places in the world and all that other stuff. So it's absolutely beautiful. And I get to see your artwork. So that's a bonus. So um, please join my group. Again, when I'm all done with this, we're downloading this video on my Facebook page. And then it's going on my YouTube channel. And it'll be on the YouTube channel to the end of time. So go to YouTube, look up Artful Nights Maine, and there you go. All right. Now, what we are going to do next, and I haven't even got a chance to post this because this has been so crazy, crazy, crazy this summer. I've done something. Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Peg, you can't hear me. Oh, honey, but I love you. <laughs> Hopefully you figured that out. Okay, so what I am going to do is next Sunday, I actually have time, uh, which is, I think, September 5th. So next Sunday at 7 o'clock, what we are going to be painting, my free Facebook Live show, is going to be these beautiful dancing birch trees. Look at these babies. I know they're beautiful. Okay, so we're going to be doing that next Sunday at 7 o'clock. Again, I haven't had a chance to post it, but I'll be doing that tomorrow. So you guys will be able to click interested. Okay, so there we go. Next Sunday, I think what I'm going to try to do this fall, is I'm going to try to do every other Sunday or as many Sundays as I can, okay? I love doing these with you guys, and I'm going to try to keep them up for as much as I can with um, all my shows in the real world and all that other stuff without getting cuckoo. But, so, yeah, Birch and Dance Trees next Sunday. Okay, all right, are you guys ready? Let's get these hummingbirds back in action, okay? So, what we are going to do next, okay, we've got this base layer of these beautiful grass, okay? But what we have to do is we have to make this more interesting, okay? We've got to bring in all these plants and these fields and all this wonderful stuff so we can be like, woo, look at my hummingbird field, all right? So what I am going to have you guys do is... I'm going to have you, because I don't know about you, but for me in my kitchen, I am hot, hot, hot. All right? And what happens is the paint tends to get a little sticky when we're hot. So I'm going to take my medium brush, okay? And I'm going to take about four drops of my paint water, 
okay? Four drops of my paint water. Now, even though I can't see all your comments on my phone, because when I try to do it on my computer, bleh, doesn't come out good, it gets all grainy. But even though I can't see you on my phone, what I do afterward is I read every comment. So make sure you write something cool, okay? <laughs> and I usually answer your questions. All right. Now, I'm going to take four drops of paint water. I'm going to add that to my black. Okay, mix it in and I am going to loosen up my black. Now this is acrylic paint, so acrylic paint um, is water-based. So you can do this. You don't want to add so much water that it gets loose and drippy because that'll drip on your painting and that'll make a mess. But just get enough so that you can loosen it up, okay? All right, now what we're going to do we're gonna take that beautiful detail brush again, okay? Flatten her out so she's nice and flat. We're gonna take some of that loose black and we're gonna bring in the first layer of those flowers, okay? I'm gonna do this in stages so you guys don't get overwhelmed, all right? And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have you guys come in here, all right, and go poop -pa. See that? You are going to have these flowers that are a little bit taller, okay? A little bit taller than the rest of your grass. Look at that. And not too many, you know. Yeah, you know, eight, nine, ten, something like that. No worries, okay? And again, don't forget to crisscross because that's what happens in the real world when that wind blows, okay? Look at this. Oh, and let me see. I'll put one here. Oh, okay. Make that noise. It'll come out better. All right. See that? Yeah. Okay. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add the tops of those flowers. So just like when we were creating that baseline for our uh, grass, okay, what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna grab that medium brush and I don't remember the name of it. Hello, kitty. How you doing? Yeah, my kitty's on the counter. Looking for th being a naughty kitty. Okay. <laughs> so you're gonna take that medium brush, you're gonna dip it in your black right on the tip and then you're gonna tap, 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 okay? Get most of that paint off the brush. Oh, kitty's taking advantage. Kitty. Get off the counter. Good girl. Okay. <laughs> okay. So tap, tap, tap. Now she's coming over here. All right. Hello, Jada. Would you like to say hi to the world? Here you go. Hello. Say hello. Oh, look at the pretty kitty. Look at. Oh, she said hi, everybody. How you do? <laughs> okay. Now you're gonna tap, tap, tap that brush. Get most of the paint off. Okay, and what I'm going to have you do, we're going to make these beautiful uh, fuzzy pom-pom flowers first, okay? So here we go. Ready? Right at the tip, you're just going to turn it into a woodpecker, just like we did it before, okay? Kind of like little cotton balls or something, all right? Look at that. Ooh, that's a nice little fuzzy flower, all right? And we're going to do the same thing to all these lower branches. All these ones that we just made. Can you see that? Nice and fuzzy wuzzy. I don't know what kind of flowers they are, but I'm not a flower girl, if I'm being honest. Okay, there we go. Too much paint on that brush and the flower is going to get too dark, just like that one. So make sure you're tapping that brush, okay? There we go go i'm gonna tap out these guys Ooh, fuzzy flower isn't that pretty i know it's pretty all right and we're gonna do the same thing to all of those um little long grasses we just made now the worst thing that you got not worse no that's that's just kidding there's no such thing as worst but if you can 
because everybody's brain wants them, because it's natural, wants you guys to make patterns, okay? But in nature, the reason why we love nature so much is because it's random. And I know a lot of people struggle with the random, but that's all right. You can do this. I believe in you, okay? So some of them are going to be taller. Some of them are going to be shorter. Some of them are going to be puffier. And some of them are going to be slimmer, okay? That's all that means. You can do it. All right, here we go. I'm going to come in here, put this beautiful fuzzy one right here. Now this one, because I put two in front of my sun, I am not going to turn that into a fuzzy flower because I really want to accentuate the fact that the sun is coming over the horizon. So I'm going to let that one be. Okay. We'll put one down here. Nice little fuzzy was it? Just like that. And then we'll add one over there. There we go. Tap, 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 tap. Well, maybe a little bit more paint than that. There we go. Woo! There you go, guys. You have successfully made your fuzzy buds. How you like that? <laughs> You can do it. All right. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to, oh, I think I missed a fuzzy bud. Here, let me bring this in here. Oh, hello, fuzzy bud. There you go. Why? Just because I feel like it. Okay. Now, next thing I'm going to have you guys do, we're going to go back to that little itty bitty brush, our Gojita. Gojita. I like Gojita. Okay, and we're going to dry it off. We're going to flatten it out so it's nice and pointy. And what we're going to do next is you guys are going to bring in these stems right here. And I'm going to walk you through it. No worries. All right, so I've got that nice loose black paint because that's important because it's going to go flow much easier if it's nice and loose. All right. And here we go. I'm going to start at the bottom. Woo! Look at that. Okay, can you see that? Much taller than those fuzzy flowers, isn't it? Yes, it is. But it's still in that yellow. Okay? And I'm going to take this fuzzy flower and I am just going to branch it off. I'm going to fork that flower. Okay? I'm going to fork it there. And I'm going to fork it here. Here a fork, there a fork, everywhere a fork, fork. Oh, <laughs> McDonald had a fork. <laughs> okay, there's another fork. All right. And again, when we're doing this, you guys use a very, very light touch. Otherwise, you're going to get really thick forks. And that's not going to be fun for you. All right. And I'm going to keep away from my son, so I'll bring a fork there. Oh, that's a crazy fork, like my hair in the morning. Okay, and here we go. Woo! Woo! There, check that out. That's a nice little forky flower, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, and then once you get all your forks in, okay, um, what you're going to do is very carefully, you're just going to come in, whoop, 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 see that? You're going to add in all those little spiky dikey doos. okay? As I said, I'm not really good with my flower techniques, but, or flower identification, but there we go, look at that. All right, and all the little ends of these forks are going to have these little spikies on them. Beep, doot, doot, okay? See that? Beautiful. All right, we're going to keep on going. Doot, 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 doot. See that? Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, you got this. Doot, 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 doot. Maybe this one's going to get five or six. I think this is a little wheat flower. Either that or it's one of those picky flowers that used to bite you when you were running through the woods. Okay? <laughs> you guys remember those? Ow! 
and then they stick to your pants. I hated that. Okay? And then I'm going to come down here. I'm going to fork this part of it. See that? Add those little spikies down there. Add some this way. Boom. All right? And those spikies are always going like this. Okay? They're never going like this. They're always going this way. Peace. Okay? <laughs> That's right. All right. Here we go. Do, 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 do. There. There goes my spiky flower. Yeehaw. Don't you stick to my pants, spiky flower. All right? Now, now that we've got that one in, I'm going to come in and I'm looking for open spaces in this round right here. All right? This section. So, what I'm going to do is come in. Ooh. I'm not thinking. I'm just growing a spiky flower. See that? There we go. And I'm going to fork it. Whoop. Look at that. Fork that spiky flower. Woo. Keep on forking it. Because this is your spiky. It's not going to be able to capture anybody unless it's got a lot of fork pots on it, huh? That's right. All right, here we go. We can fork it this way. Give it a little bit that way. Yes, sir. It likes lots and lots of those burrs. Okay, see that? And when it's nice and spiky, maybe I'll give it another one here just because I feel like it. Okay, look at that. Oh, yes, sir. All right, and when it's nice and spiky and ready to get the children, what you're going to do is you're going to add in the little burrs. See that? Oh, it's going to bite you. You better protect yourself. It's coming in. <laughs> it's going to stick to your pants. Watch out. Okay, see that? Beautiful, you guys. All right, we're going to do it to each little section. See that? Beautiful. Okay, and all we're doing is just boop, 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 boop with a very light touch on that brush. Adding in those birds. Okay, add a few right here. Boop, boop. All right, if you go outside the line, that's all right. The spiky flower doesn't mind. Okay. <laughs> all right, what's going on down there? Shaman, oh, from Scotland. Hello, Shaman Rashid. How are you doing? I love Scotland. William Wallace. Beautiful. And Gordon Ramsay. He's a Scottish. He's my little butt. I love him. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. See that? I love it. Christine Wark. How are you doing? Oh, ho, ho, girl. Jack, how you doing, Jax? Karen Hardy, Nelda Sanders, Tammy McKerney, Catherine Von Cobb. How's that going? <laughs> okay. There we go. Add those little spikes. The more, the better. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, you can even add some down that little, that little thingy. That one's, that's an extra special spiker. Okay, there's that one. And then, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one more. All right, so here we go. Ready? This one's going to be a little shorter. Okay, we got these two big spikers. This one's going to be a little shorter. So there we go. See that? Coming right off in the corner. Then I'm going to fork it up just like this. This guy's gonna be just a little guy. He's not gonna, he's not gonna, he's not gonna be that dangerous. Okay, see that? And then we're gonna go zoop. Yes, I love William Wallace. I love that movie. Whoops. There we go. There's that. Boom, boom, boom. Bum, bum. See that? Beautiful. And then 
we're gonna go. Oh. layer of flowers. Now we've got our puffy flowers. We've got our spiky flowers. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in a third type of flower. And this guy is not going to be that big. He's, I mean, he'll be taller than the other ones, but we're not going to add that many. Okay. Deborah Eubanks, how are you doing, honey? Oh my goodness, you guys, you make my heart so happy. Okay, let's see. Um, Kathy Zingavog. Hey, girl. <laughs> How are you, honey? All right, now, what I am going to have you guys do next, okay? We're going to add about three or four little stalks, all right? So here we go. I'm going to put one right here. Ooh, see that right in the middle? All right, make sure you bring it down to the bottom because the last thing you guys want is floating grass. Nobody likes that. All right, now this flower is going to be your fireworks flower, okay? Think about a firework. <laughs> All right? So what we're going to do on this guy is I'm going to have you do like a spiral, okay, right on the end. All right, here we go. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And you're going to go all the way around just like this. And if you need to, take your canvas and turn it like a steering wheel, okay? We're going to go around like this. This is kind of a pinwheel flower or a fireworks flower, okay? There's my first layer. But then I'm going to come in, I'm going to give this guy a second layer. Why? Because I want him to be nice and hairy. I want this to be a hairy fireworks flower. Okay, see that? There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Make those noises while you're making it because it'll come out better. Okay, and you're gonna add as many or as few of those hairs in there as makes your heart happy. But when you're all finished, it's gonna look like your version of that. Okay? Harry Mary. All right, now what you guys are going to do is you're going to give it a little leaf. Why? Just because. So we're going to give it a little something, something in here. See that? Yeah, maybe we'll give her another leaf over here. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Let's make this field interesting. You know? There we go. There's that bad boy. Woo! Good, isn't it? Yes, it is. And because I don't have a lot of room here, what I am going to do is I'm just going to add one more of those pinwheels because I don't want it to get too busy. You know what I'm saying? Because the, the hummingbirds are going to be getting busy later. All right, so here we go. I'm going to take one more of these, but I'm going to make it nice and short. Can you see that? Nice and short. Look at that. Oh, just like that. And here we go, making that pinwheel or that fireworks flower. See that? I'm going to go all the way around in a circle. Boom, bada, boom, bada. Okay. If you need to, turn that canvas, drive it like a car. See that? Whoa. There's my first layer. All right. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to squeeze in a second layer of those beautiful flower hairs okay yeah boom look at that oh she's pretty and that's where i'm gonna stop on my field just because like i said i don't want it to get too busy i'm gonna add a little leaf to this guy okay look at that oh see that there all right, you guys, you have done it. You made your field. How do you feel? You feel good, don't you? I know you, you want to run through that field like you did when you were a kid. I know, I know. Getting those burdocks stuck to your backside. Okay, now the next thing that I am going to have you guys do, and you are going to be fabulous. Take a deep breath. 
because we're gonna bring in our beautiful hummingbirds. Yep, not one, but two. They're fighting over that bird feeder, okay? So, first thing I am gonna have you guys do, okay? I'm gonna show you your hummingbirds once. See that? So you got this one, right? I don't know if this is the male or the female, but she is like, oh, get away from my, get away from my sugar water. And then you've got this guy right here. Please, please, I want some sugar water. Okay, so this is the hummingbird dance. All right? They're not in conventional positions, but if you have a hummingbird feeder, you know that they do this all the time. Okay? So, what I'm going to have you guys do is we're going to start off with this big one up here. This guy. Or the one that is dominant. This one that's on top. All right? And it is going to be easy peasy. So take a deep breath. You got this. All right. So here we go. Now, when we start this hummingbird, what I want you guys to think about is... I want you to think about, start with just a line, okay? Anybody can do a line. Look at that line, all right? Just a nice, beautiful line, okay? And what you're going to add to that line is you're going to add a little belly that looks like this, okay? Kind of looks like the letter P, and it kind of looks like a polywog. What? Oh, yes, it looks like a polywog. Okay, so there you go. Can you see that polywog emerging? Yes, you can. All right, just basically an oval with a little tail. And you want to make sure that when you come to this point that you connect that oval to the tail okay see that just like a polywog all right and then what you're going to do take your medium brush and let's fill in that belly okay fill in that belly with all black just like this now it really looks like a polywog. There you go. Okay. Then what you're going to do, on top of this polywog, you are going to add a gumdrop. All right. Or an upside down letter U. Upside down. I'm just fattening his belly a little more. I like a nice fat hummingbird. Okay, so you're going to add a letter U. Upside down letter U or a shuttercock or a gumdrop. Okay, look at that. Now, unlike other birds, the hummingbird doesn't come straight down. Okay, that head and that belly have a little crook in the middle. See that? Beautiful. All right, now you're gonna paint in that head. And when you're all finished, it'll look like your version of this. See that? Beautiful. Okay. Now, what you're going to do next is right off the side of this um, gumdrop, you guys are going to put a triangle like this. Okay. It looks like a bird beak, doesn't it? Nice little triangle on there. Okay. And then you're going to fill that in. See that? 
And now the most important part of this hummingbird, what makes him a hummingbird is that beak. So what I am going to have you do, you're going to put your paintbrush on top of this triangle and you are going to trace it down like this. Okay? Trace it down like this. Okay, see that? There you go. Now I may have exaggerated that beak a little bit. <laughs> okay, so maybe don't make it so long, but trace it down like that. All right, now what you're gonna do next is right behind this thing, you are gonna put a line and you're gonna go just like this, okay? So this wing is not, it looks like a banana, all right? Your first wing looks like a banana, okay? Coming right out of his backside. Chiquita banana right there. <laughs> There's number one. Okay? And number two, we're going to start inside, right at the bottom of that wing. We're going to come up just like this. And you guys are going to bring in a second banana. Just like that. Okay? Looks a little different than the first one, but you get the just. So it's a banana that's right below the other one. All right. Now, what we are going to do next, we're going to take our medium brush. All right. Our little, uh, I don't know his name, I forgot. And you're going to fill in both of those wings. So there's number one black pinch and here comes number two yeah Chiquita banana and I'm here to say I fly my hummingbird in a special way <laughs> okay and when you're all done what you're gonna do is you're gonna buzz out his wings, okay? And how we're gonna do that is, you're gonna take your little brush with black on it, all right? If you need to, turn your painting like this. And all you're gonna do is off that wing, you're just gonna do, 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 do. Okay, and I'm gonna show you this up close in a second. Okay, we're just gonna put little fuzzies on that wing. Can you see that? Just like that. Those nice little soft fuzzies. Okay? You can add as many of those fuzzies as you want. You can make some of them shorter and some of them are longer. Mine look a little too perfect for me, so I'm going to fuzz them up so that they look a little less perfect. Okay? See that? Beautiful. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing to the second wing. All right, we're going to get that banana. We're going to give that banana some fuzzy wuzzy. And all I'm doing is I'm taking my little brush and I'm fuzzing up the side. Look at that. Like I said, make, always make noises. Talk to your painting. It comes out better when you do. I swear it does. All right, there we go, and look at that, okay? And as I said, you guys, I really made that beak too long. Sometimes when I'm painting these for you guys, they're facing you and not me. So all I have to do, if you guys did the same thing, okay? He's got a long beak and I think he stuck his tongue out in my painting. So <laughs> all I'm gonna do to color correct that Easy peasy. I'm going to take my medium brush when the black is dry. Okay. Make sure it's nice and clean. Grab a little bit of my teal. 
and a little bit of my white. Mix them together because that's the teal and white section. Okay, put that on my medium brush and here we go. Watch this. We're just gonna color correct and we're gonna take out a little of that beak. All right, look at that. Okay. <laughs> this guy is really good. He just got out of the feeder, man. He's like, whoo, that's good. Okay. You might need to give it two coats. That's okay. See that? All right. And then I'm going to take my little brush and I'm going to give that beak a point. Oh, much better. Much better. He was Beakosaurus Rex. <laughs> okay, there's my first hummingbird. Now, for my second hummingbird, okay? Now, be careful with these beaks because these beaks are tricky. They are thin and they are very tricky, okay? For my second hummingbird, he looks a bit more like a narwhal, right? He does. So here we go. I'm just going to round out his head a little bit more so he fits that beak better. There. There we go. That's better. <laughs> okay. And don't be afraid. You guys can't make mistakes. Even the teacher makes mistakes. But that's okay. All you got to do is cover them up. Go back. Do it again. If you don't like it the first time, do it again. What do you have to lose? Right? All right. So... That's the beauty of, you know what I mean? That's the beauty of doing art, man. You could always start over, and that's what I love. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to start in with our second hummingbird, okay? Now, this guy is a little bit different. He's in a different position. And the biggest thing that you want to make sure is that you have enough space between those two hummingbirds so that when you bring in his wings, you guys have enough space to bring in his wings, okay? So I'm going to start this guy over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a beautiful teardrop. What a teardrop. Okay, just like this. And let me show you what that looks like. Teardrop pointing straight down. Can you guys see that? There it is, a little teardrop pointing straight down. Okay? Then what I'm going to do, off that teardrop, I'm going to bring in a little tail. All right? Now this guy's really starting to look like a like a uh, polywog, okay? But when I bring in his tail, what I'm gonna do is make sure that I go just like this, all right? Bring in that tail, just like that, see? So make the tail part of the bird, all right? Then I'm gonna grab that medium brush and I'm gonna paint in the second hummingbird's body. Here we go. Look at that. Okay, so we have number one and number two. Now, what I'm gonna do next is, again, I'm gonna bring in that little gumdrop head. So, right off the top of this little polywog, I'm going to put in a gumdrop. Gumdrop on the polywog. Okay, there you go. Look at that. See that? Yes, sir. Looks just like the tip of a thumb, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. Now, this is actually live, right? Well, actually, it doesn't matter because even if you do see it later, you're not going to know the difference because it's still going to seem like it's live. But right now it is live. I'm touching my nose, okay? <laughs> Once the live show ends, then you guys have full access on my page. You can rewind it, fast forward, all those kind of things, but not until the live show's over. All right. 
Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna paint in this little head. See that? Okay. Beautiful. See that? Ooh, he's starting to shape up. All right. And then here comes my narwhal. So this guy does not get that same triangle. No, he does not. All right, so I'm gonna take my little brush and I'm gonna angle that beak towards his friend, okay? But unlike the last time, I'm not gonna go crazy on my hummingbird beak. All right. Here we go, okay? Angle that beak towards his little friend. Looks like a narwhal, <laughs> a unicorn, okay? So it's a nice thin point, okay? And I'm just gonna fill it in just like this, all right? And on the ends, I'm gonna make sure that I make that beak part of his head. What do you mean by that, Nicole? Well, what I mean by that is I'm not gonna leave that line. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna go doop, doop, so that beak becomes part of his head. Okay, see that? Nice. Then what we're gonna do, and as I said, they're doing the dance. So this is not a you know typical hummingbird position and that's why I love it, okay? First thing you guys are gonna do is we're gonna come in right underneath his little chinny chin chin. All right, and you're gonna bring in that first wing, just like this. And again, we're gonna come around and just like this. Okay. And that looks more like a finger, right? See this? Finger. Whoops, huh? well, I, I, actually, I don't know how to point my finger that way. Okay, <laughs> see that? <laughs> There's my first wing, okay? And it's not the banana shape as the other one, but it's pointing towards its little hummingbird friend. So there's number one, okay? And his other wing starts here, all right? Right in here, but it's gonna come up and come down just like this. All right, there's another wing finger. Wing finger, okay, see that? And he is fluttering fast. This guy is getting nervous because his friend is getting all aggressive over that sugar, that sugar water. So he is fluttering like a little flutterby. All right, see that? Beautiful. Now, you're gonna take that medium brush and you're gonna paint in those last two wings. So here we go. Here's my wing finger. <laughs> Get it, wing finger, wing finger. All right, here's that one. There we go. See that? Ooh, what a nice wing finger you have. And then we're gonna come down here. We're gonna paint in this little buddy, just like this, okay? Beautiful. Now, we've gotta add in those little fuzzies on the tips of his wings. So what I'm gonna have you guys do, grab your little brush, all right? Say hello to my little brush. See this guy right here? All right, and you're gonna grab a little bit of black on it, and we're gonna come right on the bottom side of this one. Do, 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 do. Grow those little mustache hairs. Grow those little fuzzy wuzzy monkeys right on the bottom of that wing. Okay. There we go. See that? Ooh, now she's fuzzy. Now it's nice and fuzzy. Okay, and because he's fluttering like this, oh, give me some sugar. All right, we're gonna take this wing and the fuzzies are gonna go right up here. 
All right, look at those fuzzies. See that? So they're going to come in right in there because he's a frantic little hummingbird. Right? Oh, my goodness, he says. Oh, give me some of that sugar. All right? I need to eat too, my friend. All right? There we go. And we're going to add those fuzzies coming up because he's fluttering. Yeah, look at that. Woo-wee, you guys. Look at you just did. You just made the happy-go-lucky hummingbirds playing in the, in the dawn. Okay, I'm going to fatten up his belly a little bit because I like a nice fat hummingbird. This guy right here. Well, I know, especially my hummingbirds. I feed them a lot of sugar. See that? Maybe that's why he didn't come back. <laughs> Okay, now, once you get those hummingbirds finished, okay, the last thing that we're going to do on this beautiful picture, because it is dawn and that sun is coming up, what we're having, we still can see the stars in the sky, right? That's what happens at dawn. I don't know. I never get up that early, but I'm assuming that's what happens, okay? So what I'm going to have you guys do is take your brush with the smallest point, all right? Now, for me, that is my medium brush. However, for you, it's probably your small brush. So the one with the smallest point, not this part, but this part, okay? And what you guys are going to do is you're going to take that brush Dip it into your paint, okay? Get the tip nice and white. And here we go. Look at this. Zoop, zoop. Okay, practice putting different amounts of pressure on that brush so that you can make those stars small or as big as makes your heart happy. And remember, we're not using the brush part. We're using the little part, okay? We're using the end of that brush, all right? And you are just gonna put in some random stars. Some of them are gonna be big, some of them are gonna be small, just like in the real sky. If you get really excited and brave and you love astronomy, you guys can put in some constellations. Nothing wrong with that, okay? See this? Boom, boom. Have a little bit in there. I'm going to stay out of my yellow sky. Focus on my dark blue sky. And guess what, you guys? There you go. You have done it. You have painted the happy hummingbird painting. Yes, you have. And I am proud of you. Okay, add as many or as few stars in there as makes your world happy and bright. Okay, and when you're all finished, the most important part is you've got to put your famous artist signature on the lower left or right hand corner. Same artist signature you're going to use for the rest of your life. So make sure it's a good one. Okay, because when they put you in the Guggenheim, you know, they got to have to know who did it. So here we go. Du, du, du. And there we go. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you for joining me tonight. And I hope I'm going to see you all next Sunday for the beautiful birch tree painting. Another free Facebook Live for fall or the beginning of fall. And please don't forget, send me your beautiful artwork, okay? I love you guys.